And with the rise in housing costs, buying an apartment for yourself or as an investment is increasing with popularity. But there are a few things you need to understand and consider when you buy one. Martin Cooper is back to share some advice to make sure you're well informed. Morning, Martin. Morning. Good to see you. Yeah, you great too. to have you. OK, what are your thoughts on apartment living? Well, it's uh, a phenomenon right around the world. I was just uh, looking at Tokyo. Well, I know we're in Auckland or we're New Zealand-wide with this program, but Tokyo, there are, it's the most populated city in the world, 48 million, no, 38 million people. And we've got half of that population living in apartments. Whereas if we take Auckland, 1.5 million people, we've got about 20% of our population living in apartments. We go over to Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, just across the Tasman, more and more apartments, way more than us. So it's coming as our city grows. So, Ten years ago, people were probably not that keen to get into an apartment, but can you see that it is rising in popularity in Auckland in particular? Oh, yeah, it's definitely getting more and more popular. Affordability, plus uh, the lock-up and leave mm. ability of it, the low maintenance aspect. We're getting more and more used to it. In fact, I've got a, um, my accountant, he's an uh, Irish guy, and I said to him today, hey, you've lived in apartments before. Mm. He's in London. I said, what do you like about it? And he says, well, I think... I think it was very good. <laughs> he said, I could vacuum my whole apartment in London without having to move the plug. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's it's a bonus. Yeah. Yeah. What it, that's a bonus. That, yeah. that would shift a lot of people into sure. apartments, wouldn't it? No, it, it makes it easy. Interesting. Well, for those of us who are complete novices, that is me, Martin, what is the difference between leasehold and freehold? Well, I mainly know the Auckland market. So we have 15% of our apartment stock is on the leasehold land, the other the balance of that's uh, freehold or strata title. So you own a piece of the land plus the apartment. On the leasehold, you're just buying the apartment. So you've got to check that out thoroughly, get legal advice and make sure. Because you can go to a leasehold apartment, oh my God, it's so cheap, yeah, it's you're a bargain. stoked yeah. about it, but you're only buying the apartment, not the land. Sure. So you've got to do your homework, but as I said, only 15% of leasehold in Auckland. So. OK, what about body corporates? Because if you don't own the building, someone clearly does, that's a, a body corporate. And what is their role in this? OK, you've got a whole group of people together. So, the, you know, say you've got 40, 50 apartments in a development. You pay into the body corporate. That covers for all the maintenance of the grounds, the common areas, the electricity, the security, cleaning, tidying. Plus, it covers the insurance, which is good. Not of your contents, but the insurance of the building. So it's actually a saving. People say, oh, that's an extra cost living in an apartment. But if you're doing a standalone house and you're covering all that stuff yourself, all those bills are coming up. Mm. Whereas you collaborate with all the other owners, you actually get better value for money. Sure. When you're in Auckland, it's been in the news a lot. We hear a lot about the unitary plan. How will this impact on apartment living? Well, the main ethos of the unitary plan is to have work, live and play in the same areas. So we're getting growth in apartments around the transport hubs, so concentrated effort. So we want a more compact Auckland and a more vibrant Auckland. So it's definitely going to be more and more apartments being built, more and more apartment living. At the moment, our population, 1.5 million people. The council predictions are we'll be over 2 million people by 2030. They've even got a council person counting the people coming in and they've worked out 819 new people are coming in each week to Auckland. So we can't just have the urban sprawl. We'll be, sure. we'll be part of Hamilton. <laughs> the way right, it's going. Yeah. Yeah. No, so not everyone's going to get a backyard. Um, and, you know, just quickly, some other things that you can think of as well. Um, access cards, you've also got, you know, your, um, your car parking, all those extra things that you've got to think about when you're looking at an apartment. Yeah, well, that, that does provide good security, although last week Kim Kardashian might not have said that with the, um, you know, apartment. You're very topical, Martin. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, well, I'm, I, I, I've actually quite like the Kardashians. I've got a lot of girls in the house watching the TV and right. one of them went to turn it off uh, the other day and I said, no, no, hang on, it was a very <laughs> pivotal... Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, I nice. actually had to stop myself. But, yeah, apartments do provide that security, that community, so I think they're the, they're the way of the future, so nice. let's uh, investigate it. Get into it. And embrace oh, yeah. it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for um, joining us again, Martin. Always a pleasure. <laughs> and keep up with the Kardashians, no doubt. OK, we will see you next week.